This story is dedicated to Agnita, because she doesn't think I'm cool. So, once upon a time, there was a gypsy girl named Alice. Alice was just turning 18, and as such, her father was forcing her to get married. The man she was getting forced to marry was big, and he was smelly, and he was dumb, and he was ugly, both inside and out. Alice did not want to marry this man. So, she decided that she had to find something wrong with this man. His name was Bill. And to do so, she decided she had to sneak around and try to find what that was herself. So, Alice found a bear suit that she could wear and casually go around the camp without anyone noticing. It was quite common in this gypsy camp that bears would just wander around. So, she tromped over to Bill's tent in the bear suit and tried to find what was wrong. As soon as she entered the tent that Bill stayed in, she was overpowered with a disgusting stench. It smelled a little bit like skunk, and it, there was smoke everywhere. She paid it no bother. She knew what it was, but uh, she didn't quite like it. She had to persevere, though. So, she snuck around the tent. No one was in the tent. Bill had just left. She made sure of that. And she checked through all of the drawers in the tent and all of the knapsacks that Bill had. She found a gun, pretty standard. She found a pipe, also quite standard. And then, she found a birth certificate. Apparently, Bill was not a gypsy. Bill had been born to two regular folk. Bill Sr. and Denise Anderson. This was the proof that she needed, but she knew that she had to spring it at the right moment, too soon, and Bill would not be properly shamed, nor would her father. So, along came the wedding night. Everyone was dancing and singing, and much smoke was in the air. There was much festivities going around in this wedding. This was the day that Alice knew she had to put forth the information that Bill had been hiding from everyone, and that would surely ruin the wedding. So, the wedding commenced. Bill went up to the altar, and Alice followed soon behind. But when the priest asked, Alice, do you take this man to be your loving husband? Alice said, no, this man is not a gypsy, and I have the proof. And from her wedding dress, she produced the papers that showed that Bill had been born to a non-gypsy family and had apparently, at some point, snuck into the camp. Her father was furious, not at her, as you might expect, but at Bill for tricking him and trying to steal his daughter. The father quickly ran to his tent to grab his gun. Bill, knowing what was happening, quickly ran to get his. It was a Mexican standoff. 
they knew from their tents that if either of them stepped out for a minute, the other would shoot. But Alvis's father was determined to get his vengeance, so he ran out and towards Bill's tent, where he knew that the scoundrel was hiding. Bill was waiting for this opportunity, and he jumped out, pulled out his gun, or aimed his gun, and tried to shoot. But it was jammed. Alice could see this coming, so she made sure to tamper with his gun beforehand. Alice's father quickly shot Bill in the leg. Bill dropped his gun and uh, was unable to defend himself any longer. All of gyp the gypsies got together and put him on trial, and the gypsy verdict said that Bill must be banished from the encampment. They stacked wood around Bill's home and burnt it to the ground, then sent him with nothing. He was to survive on the road until he could find civilization and find a new way of living. But in the fire around Bill's camp, a squealing was heard, or a whimper. Alice suddenly remembered. Bill had been keeping puppies, a litter of eight to be exact. The mother had died at birth, unfortunately. Alice, determined to save the puppies, ran into the burning tent, searched quickly and immediately saw them. Luckily, they were not hurt, though they were choking on the smoke within the tent, now from the fire. Alice quickly grabbed up the puppies and ran out of the tent before it collapsed. She had a few minor burns, but the puppies, puppies were safe and she survived. She adopted the puppies and they grew up to be well-trained dogs. And when she finally found someone who she truly loved, she got married on her own terms. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Now do you think I'm cool? <laughs>